In this video, I'm going to show you how to propagate romaine lettuce, celery, and bok choy from just kitchen scraps. So um, this would be like my head of romaine lettuce, and uh, whenever you're cooking with it, you would want to just kind of go around in a circle and peel off the leaves that you're going to use. We're going to try to keep this plate here intact, which is pretty similar to um, how we did bulb scaling in uh, last week's set of videos for specialized stems. I don't think this is technically considered a specialized stem because it's not really used for storage, but it is a reduced stem because um, it's very low at the base down here. And we're just, I mean, this is all stuff that we can eat here, right? And we're gonna just kinda go to the center here and see what we got going on. Hmm, now see, it looks here like the apical meristem in the middle of this particular set of romaine may have gotten a bug in there. So we might have ended up with like a snail or something, and now we've got a little bit of a fungus problem. So this one might not grow that well for us. But if it would, uh, what we would do is put this in water overnight to soak it, and then we would just go ahead and plant it so that you really only have like this much of the basal stem. Uh, underneath the soil. So we're just going to kind of plant it like that. These are some other examples of ones that I did previous. You can see that I have a little bit of erratic growth here and then my apical tip is starting to bolt a little bit. That's probably because it got really hot in the greenhouse. Um, lettuce doesn't really like temperatures over 80 degrees and that's why it grows really well out at Salinas, like out at the coast, because the it just stays cooler overall. So we can use that. Uh, now here's a stalk of celery, and you can do the same thing with the celery. So you just take off the pieces that you would enjoy and eat um, with your dinner or however you would want to eat them, and then just, just peel it from this outside edge and then retain this internal structure here. And you can reduce it down to, you know, just a couple of pieces, two or three. You'll notice that it's very light colored yellow on the inside, the closer in we go. That's because these areas have not been exposed to light yet, and so they don't have chloroplast. That process is called etiolation, and we're going to utilize that process um, in a couple of weeks when we start doing our seed propagation. We have the same kind of stem portion here that we would just then uh, bury in the soil, and we would get new roots to come out of this portion here, and then we would end up with a new celery stalk. If it bolts, hey, you end up with seeds. Uh, you can do the same thing with bok choy. Now, I know that usually when you eat bok choy, you just kind of steam this whole thing, and that makes it a really good vegetable and a really fun thing to eat with chopsticks and stuff. But if you pick apart these outside pieces um, so that you can just saute or stir-fry or steam the, the leafy portions on the outside, you can retain this little propagule on the inside and you can regrow this too. So you could soak that in water overnight and then plant it. And these are ones that um, I had soaking for a little while and they already have started to grow again on the inside. So um, this piece was reduced to this same amount if not a little bit smaller and already I almost have something that I can eat and it's only like three days later. So these have been uh, kitchen scraps that you can just regrow.